Take the Mustang Pledge and see why you're ahead in a Ford. Want to know why the Mustang people are frantically urging their owners to take the loyalty oath? Maybe, just maybe, they've seen pictures like these. Zap, pow, blam, holy cow, it's a wow. And we're telling you now, it's a back that barracuda, nothing smoother has ever hit the road. You will quickly realize it's the youngest car you sold. And as you keep selling it, it will all become so clear that Plymouth is out to win them over this year. Yes, this one had the sports car lovers lassoed, but that was BB. Before Barracuda 67. The wild new Barracudas with the excitement of a European road race and prices as American as Saturday afternoon football. In fact, this one is America's lowest priced sports car. And this one is perfect for girl watching or sun following. Tell them about it, Fang. For openers, this one has power top and a one-piece solid glass rear window that drops with the top. While the Mustangers take a do-it-yourself top standard and a scratchable plastic window or pay extra for a two-piece glass window with a fold mark across the middle. Poor kids. Tell more. Styling details. Split grill design is modern as tomorrow. It's set deep and surrounded by brushed aluminum to create a solid appearance. Mustang's grill is just a stamped metal insert with cast dress-up pieces. Barracuda's headlights and amber rally lights are integrated with the grill, symmetrical. The rally lights also do extra duty as parking and turn signal indicators. And the rally lights stay on when the headlights are on. We loved them before, we'll love them again. Mustang's park and turn lights are unprotected under the bumper. Headlights are outside the grill. Mustang has driving lamps, but only with a GT option package. Costly way to look like a Cuda owner. Same with a pit stop gas cap, a genuine sports car detail. So Barracuda has it standard. Mustang has it for extra money. Same with the chrome louvered castings on the hood. They look like go power, so we put them on standard. Mustang puts them on optional. Costs less to go first class. As for overall styling, I suppose it's a matter of opinion. It's the chooser's choice. I'm choosy. Give Mustang a point for trying on the fastback this year, but the Cuda stylists won the game. Barracuda's nine inches longer, although both are built on a 108-inch wheelbase. What a body for a car. Let's get into the picture and check the inside story. It begins here with eye style door decor featuring Barracuda's exclusive safety action inside door handles and new silent safety door latches. How refreshing. So is this, a new silent flow ventilation system that quietly exhausts air from inside out through the door. Cool. With Mustang, the driver has to reach way back into the rear compartment to control ventilation. Great if you have a co-pilot. Barracuda's business-like cluster of gauges and controls combine at-a-glance viewing with easy accessibility. Sports car function. As an example, Mustang needs an extra foot pedal just to squirt the windshield washers. Cuda's control is dash-mounted, and variable speed wipers are an exclusive option. Heater controls on Mustang are located under the dashboard, another potential knee knocker. Barracuda's heater controls are designed into the dash, easier to see and touch. Just between us girls, Cuda's convenient glove box provides plenty of storage space for personal items. Handy cup holders are a Plymouth Plus. Mustang might make a mess. There's no telling what might spill out of this tilt-down arrangement. Now, when it comes to seats, the Mustang people make a big point of the standard buckets. We'd rather give the owner a chance to seat three in front if he wants to. Or make it cozier for two. And our standard center armrest is great for driving comfort. Fold it up for coziness. And we do offer buckets at the very low cost of thirty-two thirty-five. Our console option is a dollar or so cheaper than Mustang. But it's behind the front seat that our comparison story really unfolds. Barracuda's rear seats are deeper, thicker, and higher off the floor. I'll say. Cuda has more headroom, legroom, hip room, and shoulder room. When Mustang says two plus two, that's exactly what they mean. Want to try the Mustang?
Bare knees may be in vogue this year, but this is carrying the fashion too far. That seat belt is all there is to hold both you and the loose lower seat in place in this model of Mustang. You might be just as concerned about staring into a bare metal strip or open glass beyond your head. Or a vent knob right next to your ear. Cuda lets you relax under the protection of its roof. And with the convenience of crank-operated rear windows. The Mustang Fastback doesn't even have rear windows. Barracuda's concern for detail includes rich vinyl on the side panels instead of Mustang's cold, molded plastic. One thing about Mustang, they've done a great job of fastening the upper part of the seat in this sport deck option. You did say option. Right. And it's a three-hand operation to lower the back seat. Mustang is such a sociable little car, you can always use a friend to help. Compare this with Barracuda's one-hand release to lower the seat and to lock its carpeted back securely in place. Neat, safe, and easy. A seven-foot toboggan stores easily inside the Cuda. It's quite a cargo carrier, especially when we see the same toboggan inside the Mustang. Their sport deck option leaves something to be desired. <laughs> yes, more room inside. Here's the beginning of some basic differences in storage capacities. Mustang's spare tire takes much of the space in its trunk. Barracuda's spare is hidden beneath the floor. Next, Cuda's forward trunk wall lowers to form a carpeted extension of cargo space. It's called a security panel. Mustang's panel swings up and only serves to get in the way. When you do get the Mustang converted, the floor is rather bumpy. More steps than the Washington Monument. Cuda's compartment is a completely carpeted, flat, full-length, full-width storage area. Tennis, anyone? But don't confuse the Barracuda with a station wagon. It's the fun car of the year for people who want action in an automobile. You can chew up the road with any of Barracuda's four power-packed engines. Select from the standard Slant 6 at 145 horsepower or the standard V8 for 180 horses. Optional are the Commando 273 four-barrel at 235 horses and the booming Commando 383 four-barrel at a mighty 280 horsepower. Growl, a real prowler. You'll want plenty of stop with that kind of go. And nothing does it like Barracuda's brakes. Over 40% more brake lining area in six-cylinder models. Over 20% more in V8s. Want more good news? Like what? Like price. The Sports Barracuda V8 with that tremendous rear compartment advantage lists for a piddling 2220 more than the Mustang Fastback. The six-cylinder Sports Barracuda is 4683 more. The Barracuda convertible V8, power top, glass, rear window and all, is 5623 more than the Mustang in V8s and 8086 more in sixes. The power top and glass window alone are worth the difference. And that Barracuda hardtop V8 lists for $37 less than Mustang's biggest seller. The hardtop six lists for $12.46 less. Like, wow! Did you start out to win me over this year? Yep, with three wild new Barracudas. You won, man. Wild. Wild.